he told me some things about this district. He said, once this district totally unifies, God will start revival here. He said, so many people, here's what Charlie Mahaney said, are waiting for the strong man to fall. He said, the strong man can't come against you. He's already fell at your feet. We're so worried about attacking the strong man when in the spirit world, there's a hierarchy. I know, I used to be in all that devil worship stuff. Each spirit has levels, but none of them can compare to the name that they see upon me. That's why the man in the tombs ran to Jesus. He didn't run to Jesus. The spirits ran to Jesus. He didn't even speak to Jesus. The spirits spoke to him. I think some of you need to quit worrying so much about binding and start loosing some things. Loose apostolic authority. Loose the gifts of the spirit. Come on, loose it in your churches. We got to love. You want to be apostolic? You got to love each other. And when you love each other, you got to forgive each other. They asked, they said, Jesus, how often should we forgive? He said, 70 times 7. Well, that's a scallywag, isn't it? That's 490 times. I know because I've heard people say it. But I was studying that out. And I got with Brother Bishop at CLC, and he helped me study it out. Do you know when he made that statement? It was exactly seven days till he stood in front of 70 men on the Sanhedrin court. He already knew what they were going to do. And he said, in seven days, I've already forgiven you. Come on, you want apostolic authority? You better learn to forgive. I'm not going to hell or this place or anybody in here. Come on, you can't offend me because I love you. I don't care what you say about me. I love you. My first camp back, 2004, he was the youth president. Murray Ray was the youth secretary. They got to singing. You all remember that song, the presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. Brock Spurlock and the Epley boys and several of y'all, we were all right here and we began to shout. Well, I, was, I had the Holy Ghost, so I was only down to a pack and a half a day. I was a three-pack a day guy. But, you know, I was working on it. They grabbed me. And we started jumping about right here. By the time we got here, I thought, I'm dying. I can't jump no more. So I just sagged down. They carried me. I'm over here, Brother Patrick. They're going, ah, ah. I thought, my God, this is how I'm going right here. The Lord wants me ready. I finally got shook loose of them. They'd look at me. i go, huh? And I was standing right there. I can take you to the spot. And I was crying. I didn't know what to do anymore. And I felt this big arm come around my neck like this. And it was Brother Anderson. He didn't care that I smelled like cigarettes. He didn't care all the stories that had been told about me. He grabbed me and he began to hug me and he put that big old hand on my head. And for the next 10 minutes, the man of God began to pray for me. Things began to change in me right there. How many more Nick Mahaney's have walked out of this campground? How many of your sons and daughters used to be on this campground? How many of your brothers, your sisters, your mothers, fathers? I speak faith over your children and your family in the name of Jesus.